Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman and today I'm going to be doing your weekly horoscope forecast for the week of December 16th through the 22nd, 2019. To begin with, let's start with Aries. Aries this week, what I see for a lot of you is that you are going to kind of be in the winding down mode. A lot of you are preparing for Christmas, um, maybe some last minute travel preparations. A lot of you are also very conflicted when it comes to your money. You may be doing things a little bit different uh, this week, you know, buying just some inexpensive items or setting a very strict budget. But there is a lot of, um, you know, planning that you're putting into this year and not spending like you were previously in previous years. You just are not necessarily feeling the need to spend a lot of money. And that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. A lot of you are also going to be feeling like tired this week from all the energy that you're going to be, you know, using on finishing last minute tasks or, um, you know, being very dedicated to your work. A lot of you are going to need some time for yourself. There is a lot of emotional fulfillment, a lot of communication, um, and there's a lot of, you know, of a good energy that can follow a relationship if you are in the beginning stages of a relationship. Um, you know, while no relationship is perfect this week in particular, there's a lot of h highlighted around your love life, maybe spending quality time or deciding whether or not you want to spend time with their family or, you know, your partner's family, or they want to spend time with your family or how that's going to be ironed out. Um, there's will be like a lot of give and take and balance that is created this week. Um, and some of you could be receiving some good news. This could be like a form of, of a gift, uh, an early gift for Christmas or maybe some other type of celebration. But it's it's definitely um, going to be an eventful week for all of you Aries. Taurus, this week for you Taurians, it's all about fulfillment for you. Uh, for you, it's very important to feel appreciated, to feel valued. And a lot of you will be receiving that, um, especially if you've been very expressive of that to a, signif a significant other or someone else in your life, you will be feeling some emotional fulfillment. Some of you also are sort of dealing with maybe some broken pieces of yourself that you're trying to put back together. This could be you realizing that there is some, um, you know, moments or some things in your life that's going on right now that are not picture perfect, that definitely need to be changed. So you will be doing that. The best thing that I think a lot of you are going to be doing this week in particular is listening to your soul, listening to others as well, and gaining some knowledge from so there will be like a lot of knowledge that you acquire if you are listening to your inner self and listening to what others have to say. I also see that a lot of you could be dealing with some deceit. This could be an individual that maybe is saying one thing to your face. It could be a family member that is a liar, someone that is not being truthful. They tell you one thing and then they mean something else. And it's just a very low vibration and a low vibrational being that you're dealing with. And a lot of you are going to have to make a choice of whether to move out of your home, um, you know, leave that person completely or, you know, abandon, or you could be in the process of doing that. Again, this won't apply to every Taurus out there, but for a lot of you, some of you could be having an eye opening experience when it comes to, you know, your family or friends or people that are around you, whoever it applies to, basically, you are going to be starting to see some mask fall and some lies you know, that were put together, fall apart. So it'll be very interesting for you this week. And that's for the sign of Taurus. Gemini, this week for you, Gemini, it's all about the complications. A lot of you could be finding that things are not going exactly how you would have expected it to be planned or things are not coming out the way that your expectations are. So Spirit is asking you to release any expectations that you may have regarding a person, a place, or a situation this week in particular, because things are very erratic, especially um, since we are in this full moon energy, and some things are not going to turn out exactly how you plan, but the universe is redirecting you and rerouting you. So whenever of something is blocked that you consider to be a blessing, it's actually a different opportunity and a new door that is on the way to be open for you. A lot of you are struggling with letting go, letting go of maybe a past relationship, someone that you had affection for, or you had very strong feelings for, and you still can't let go of that person and move on. This is very important that you kind of release that energy. It's no longer serving you. Cutting spiritual cords is definitely not easy, but you can pray to your ancestors. You can pray to God. You can pray to cover or uh, to 
to sever that connection, to break that connection, and to restore your soul, to restore your energy um, as it was before. And this is very important because it's part of the healing process for a lot of you Geminis out there. But some of you are going to be still holding on to some hope. And there's nothing wrong with that. Whether this is, you know, hope that that person will change or see you in a better way. Um, some of you could also be hoping for a special outcome. This could be specifically around, you know, moving or even just like um, getting accepted into a university. Because you are, you know, doing things at the last minute. Wanting to get, you know, approved to enter a college or a university university at the last minute for the winter, you know, semester. Um, and so it's going to be very interesting how, how this all plays out. But know that, you know, you shouldn't put all of your, your eggs in one basket. You shouldn't get disillusioned if this doesn't turn out the way that you want it to turn out. Because ultimately what Spirit is showing is that you're, a lot of you Geminis are going through cycles right now. And again, we're very close to the end of the year, approaching a new year. So you, a lot of you will be feeling this energy very intensely. And it can cause you to feel kind of frustrated, have mood swings, uh, and be kind of moody in some way. So kind of balance yourself when you feel like that, when you feel out of kilter, uh, basically basically uh, meditate that's going to help you breathing exercises will help you uh, you know basically grounding your energy is going to help you so however you can ground it whether it's holding a piece of hematite walking barefoot in the ground uh, doing um, you know some kind of exercise do what it takes for you and that's a horoscope for Gemini Cancer, this week for you, Cancer, it's all about you recognizing your self-worth. I think up until now, uh, a lot of you throughout the year may have not really put a lot of energy or time and focus into yourself, ignoring, you know, your basic needs and wants and desires and basically focusing on people around you. Um, this week is going to be very important because we are in the holidays. There's a lot of self-awareness. There's a lot of focus on yourself and realizing your self-worth. You know, I think a lot of you are going to be pulling yourselves up from the bootstrap so to speak you're going to be recognizing your power and your potential and asking yourself why are you wasting so much time you know uh, self-loathing or just not appreciating your own self or seeing your own self-worth and settling for someone or some situation that's not you know good for you that ultimately is bringing you down and so I feel like this is like a mass awakening for a lot of you Cancerians out there a lot of you moon childs that will be recognizing your own inner beauty and through that it comes fulfillment you know on many levels like you when we talk about fulfillment, it's basically you feeling satisfied in one area of your life or several areas of your life, feeling like appreciated, feeling your self-worth, feeling worthy, feeling powerful. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I think a lot of you this week are going to be feeling that kind of way. And you could be dealing, some of you could be dealing with some denial. Uh, again, this could be you feeling trapped in a situation saying that you're not the, the reason, you know, why this is occurring or that you have done everything in your, you know, your possible confines to move away from a, you know, something negative or something that's no longer working for you. But again, you still are, you know, feeling kind of trapped or not um, expressing yourself and taking bold steps, you know, it's all about just maybe you're saying something over and over, like, I'm going to leave this person, I'm going to do something, and you never do it. And, and so that's what actions speak louder than words. And I think that's what spirit is looking for this week from you, you know, to meet the universe halfway and start taking initiatives instead of procrastinating. And that's going to help open some doors for you, uh, my Cancerian. So again, that's just something just to pay attention to. And that's your horoscope for my signs cancer sign leo this week for you leo a lot of you could be feeling frisky there's a lot of lust a lot of focus on your love life maybe some passion in your romance area in your love life if you are in a relationship with someone things could get very spicy if you're single well there is room for something magical to happen something's very spicy this week it just depends all on you know on your circumstances again this won't apply to every single Lib um, leo out there but 
uh, it's very possible. Uh, I also see y'all going through some, some of you Leos are going to be going through some personal challenges. This is struggles with your time and your energy um, and who it's being given to. This is also like something that it's kind of more stagnated an older type of situation that has you haven't necessarily healed from and so you know this is the the release this is the last full moon of the decade where you can release this energy that's stagnated but you have to be strong and push through this the holidays tend to bring up the worst memories you know of who you used to be with and the family and maybe your family was was stronger and it was happier happier times and now it's not so much the case and you have to continue to be strong and push forward a lot of you are going to um, feel playful. You're going to feel like your inner child is awakened this week. Um, so again, you could be the life of the party if you go to a you know a, a, an an invitation or some kind of get together, a Christmas party, a work Christmas party. But there's definitely some you know you playing a little bit more, uh, having more fun and finding yourself laughing, uh, which is something that a lot of you have not been doing for quite some time. Um, depending on your circumstances, of course. But for the most part, I feel like this week's going to be a very light week for Leos out there, and you're going to enjoy it full-heartedly. So this is the horoscope for the sign of Leo. Virgo, this week for you, Virgos out there, a lot of you need to pay, pay attention and be careful to your deadlines, to the things that you have scheduled, like appointments, and make some reminders and to remember because... Some of you are going to forget it. The energy this week is just that, you know, a lot of you are in rush mode. Your mind could be on the holidays and, you know, just trying to wind up in, you know, close out, you know, certain outstanding work projects or assignments that you have. And so your mind may be there, but not, but also not there. And so you need to pay attention to that. I also feel like some of you could be feeling sort of broken um, or pulled into too many directions, almost like, you know, you're not sure um, what, what to do anymore, because, you know, you have your work, but maybe you don't have vacation to take to find another job if you're unhappy. And so it's like you're stuck in a situation and it's causing you to feel kind of broken and stretched in different places. Maybe you have some family issues going on as well. And so this is kind of like, you know, breaking you down in so, in so many ways. And so, um, this week, you know, I feel like there is a lot of spiritual, um, angels and guides that are working with a lot of you out there that are Virgos uh, to bring some kind of uh, assurance or some validation for some of you to to know that things are going to get better within the next seven days you know um, you know this is a week where I'm not going to be sugarcoating it basically you are going to be finding that there are people who are going to be kind of deceitful out there you know there are going to be some people who you may not agree with or have some kind of words with this could be a confrontation could be an argument um, but basically there is someone you know that that sparks out and brings out some of the the negative or low vibrations in yourself so um, just pay attention to that and don't let them don't give them power don't feed into it block them if necessary walk away from them if necessary if it's someone where you work at and you just can't you know you can't ignore them uh, make sure that you are speaking to your supervisor or you know kind of establishing some boundaries that need to be established because if you don't say anything nothing will ever get done so this is for the horoscope for the sign of virgo Libra, this week for you, Libra, it's all about love. A lot of you are going to be finding that you're focused on love. Um, you know, your relationships, uh, how you, you know, you're not when I talk about love, not necessarily your personal, like romantic or sexual relationships, but really, you know, the things that you love, the things that you're passionate about, whether it's your family, it's your pet, you know, it's you, your job, you're very dedicated to it and you love your job. There's a lot of focus about this. And I feel like a lot of you are going to start finding what you love to do and really pursue it. I think a lot of you are not living out your fulfill, you know, you're not living out your destiny or what really truly makes you happy. And so a lot of you will be gravitating towards that over the next week and, and maybe start even planning there is someone that you have to deal with in your work environment or your family that is rigid their way of thinking is very rigid it's it's not a very um 
peaceful energy. A lot of it could be nitpicking. A lot of it could just be having their eyes on you. And it makes you feel uncomfortable for some of you Librans because a lot of you are self-sufficient and you just need your time and space away from other people. And I don't feel like a lot of you aren't being able to express your individuality. Uh, and even if when you do, it's like your question about it, you know, to the point where it makes it feel kind of uncomfortable. And again, this may not apply to every single Libran out there, but a lot of you are having a, more of a spiritual breakthrough and really embracing who you are as a person. And sometimes when you have people around you who don't understand or fear you being different or unique, it can cause some problems in your life. So um, it's almost like it being forbidden, you know, or, you know, it's something that is not the norm. And so for you, it's like when you are presented with those challenges, a lot of you will do two of one things uh, Two, you know, do one of two things is what I'm trying to say. Either you will um, be a rebel and just do it just to piss off people or you will, you know, kind of shut down and try to, um, you know, be a conformist with what, you know, society is telling you to do while you are within, you know, your work or within a certain space or proximity of people around you that just don't get it. So I, you know, if, if I had to pick one or the other, I would definitely do be the rebel and choose to be who I am regardless of what others think of me. And so I think that's going to be like what you, a lot of you Librans out there are um, going to be dealing with this week in particular. So this is a horoscope for the sign of Libra. Scorpio, this week for you, Scorpio, it's all about not throwing temper tantrums. A lot of people could be thinking that you're immature or finding some immaturity in your actions this week because a lot of you, when you don't get what you want, um, some of you may be, you know, just showing your ugly side and being more negative. And so a lot of times, you know, that is not very becoming of Scorpio because y'all are known as the strength, a sign of strength and uh, being, you know, more of the mature um, individual in a situation. But this week, something causes you to kind of be immature and kind of stoop down to maybe someone else who is being kind of immature. And so you need to trust your intuition, but above all, you need to make sure that you assess what you feel and not act in the heat of the moment. Because if when you do, you could, you know, start um, showing, you know, a side of yourself that is um, not, you know, not good for your reputation, not good for you in general. It just lowers your vibration and it causes stagnation. It causes mental anger, anguish, and disappointment. A lot of you are very much, you know, maybe focused on someone wanting to, you know, you want someone to see you in a certain way or a certain light. This could be someone that you have a crush on, someone that is already taken. And so Spirit is reminding you to not pursue anyone that is emotionally unavailable. Do not have expectations. Do not fall into that codependency that sometimes Scorpios can fall into, which is very much a uh, predominant. So um, they're saying, Spirit is saying basically to, to remove that, you know, and make a choice that is going to be for your betterment, for your well-being, your mental and spiritual well-being. A lot of you have choices to make, but you're, you're kind of afraid to say what's on your mind. You're not, or you're afraid to, that you're going to make the wrong choice and you need to just pick one or the other. You can't have it both ways. And that's what Spirit is saying. And it's, it's hard, you know, to, um, during the holidays to kind of, you know, deal with a lot of this because a lot of this is baggage from the past and maybe social conditioning, you know, maybe a failed marriage or relationships that you went through when you were younger. And now that you're much mature or older, you know, uh, a lot of you are dealing still with those scars that are there. And they, you know, sometimes our scars never truly heal all the way. It could take years and sometimes, um, you know, past that uh, a lifetime you know here on earth to heal it to heal those wounds but a lot of you sometimes stay kind of with those wounds replaying over and over and over and that's the cycle to break this week in particular and if it requires you know teaming up with a best friend or someone that can understand you on some level um, breaking through those cycles is going to be very important because it's going to help bring some happiness and healing and also improve your health especially if you've been going through health issues Sagittarius, this week for you, Sagittarius, a lot of you are going to be feeling a lot of spiciness in your love life. There's a lot of sentimental feelings, affection that is wanted or 
craving or needing uh, and also you just wanting to give that to another person and also receiving it you know it's going to be something that kind of awakens you this this um, week in particular um, a lot of you when it comes to a relationship you may need to start listening a little bit better to your partner's needs and desires um, or wants because I feel like a lot of you may struggle in that area and so this week's going to be very important because I feel like you'll have the time and the energy if you are a Sagittarian to actually listen to the other person um, a lot of you are also entering a period where you could you know start receiving the rewards or reaping the rewards that you've worked hard for completing a cycle maybe it's you know you're being promoted to a new job perhaps you, you know you pass your midterms or actually your finals and now you're graduating right or you are you know uh, ready to kind of you know get out of the job that you're in and you already have another job lined up at the beginning of the year but you're turning in your two weeks notice this week there's a lot of conclusions or finalities this week but also a lot of reasons to celebrate a lot of success you know um, and everybody's level when we hear the word success I think a lot of people think oh well it's like a six-figure you know job a six-figure paying job um, and you know every that's incorrect because every person's success or level of success is going to be different because we're all different we all have different goals and different lifestyles and different you know um, just upbringing so one person's you know depiction or um, you know level of success is going to vary from what another person's beliefs are of success and so i see a lot of you uh, feeling accomplished you know a lot of you are feeling like you've worked hard and now you're being recognized for your efforts but at the same time there's a select few of you out there that are sagittarians that could be feeling very invisible like feeling like you're not really appreciate it and so again like i said not this horoscope won't apply to every single person uh that is a sagittarian and it may apply to a select few but there is some struggles in that area but a lot of you will start you know um realizing that it's not really that you're invisible but maybe you haven't put in the work or you haven't made those changes that others that are sagittarians are making and maybe this is the week that you know it starts pushing is like the catalyst to push you forward so that way you can start making those decisions for yourself for your future so that's the horoscope for sagittarius this week all right capricorn this week for you capricorn it's all about you being playful and again uh embracing your inner child and i think i said this for another horoscope uh this week in particular i see this very much so for capricorn as well a lot of you are feeling very playful this week very joyful a lot of laughs a lot of hilarity a lot of humor that is going to be uh you know emerged or discovered this week in particular a lot of you also could be very much um strict on yourselves or harder on yourselves maybe you're trying to lose the last two pounds so you can fit into that dress or that tuxedo or that outfit for the holidays so a lot of you are going to be putting limitations on yourself in some way or depriving yourself of some pleasure this week if you're a capricorn because uh, again their beauty is pain you know there is pain in beauty and so i think this it revol um, revolves around some aspect of your characteristic on the outside your physical appearance um and it may be in another area of your life of course but this is what i'm seeing i also feel like you're going to be feeling very connected to mother earth so a lot of you may be that still have your moms around that are f physically here living in the physical world um could be feeling like you need some guidance from a mother figure or you're needing to kind of um, um, give her a call if you live in a different state or you know go visit your parents if they're still living and if they're not in there they're in the spiritual world a lot of you could be receiving dreams or kind of reminiscing and thinking of them in that moment their souls are with you when you start looking at their photographs looking at you know um old photo albums or listening to a christmas song that had some special meaning to them um so this is a week where a lot of you Capricorns basically are very intuitive. Your third eye is very open. You're receiving downloads of information from the universe. But at the same time, you're also receiving spiritual visitations from those that have passed on. And you're also, you know, receiving signs from your own spirit guides and angels that basically that they are around you and you're, you're not alone and um, you're not imagining this either. So pay attention to those signs, whether it's a penny left in your 
you know, in front of you, whether it's a, a feather, whether it's just a group of birds, whether it's butterflies, you know, uh, pay attention to what is, you know, the magic all around you is what I'm trying to say. And that's a horoscope for the sign of Capricorn. Aquarius, this week for you, Aquarius, it's all about letting go of the past, letting go of those things that keep you in bondage, that keep your soul tied to another person um, or, or psychically linked to a person that maybe is no longer in your life or somebody that's hurt you in some kind of way. Um, there's this release, uh, letting also realizing also that no matter what you're going through, you're only responsible for your own reactions and you can't control the outcome of other things. Some of you may become upset if you don't get something, something doesn't happen the way that you want it to, or there is, um, some, some financial struggle that you're going through, but everything is a blessing in disguise. Um, and this week, you know, I feel like a lot of you are fighting your own personal battles. I don't feel like a lot of you Aquarians necessarily are going to love the energy as we get closer and closer to Christmas, to the holidays. You may not celebrate it or just may not feel like Christmas this year. A lot of you may not have put up your decorations and you're being prompted by a partner or someone in your family to put them up. Some of you may just not put them up completely may not put up any de decorations and that's okay however you want to deal with it is good and and if you can discuss it and release it and get it out of your system that's even better but um you know the best thing that what you're looking for this week and what spirit is looking for you from you is to for you to be honest i think a lot of you want honesty from other people but you also have to be honest with yourself and ask yourself exactly what is it that you want what are your intentions behind what you want are you using someone to you know to um to get ahead or to climb the social ladder what are you doing out there you know that is is affecting you in some ways and even if you have reached a certain level of success in your life are you truly happy with who you are as a person and these are going to be the emotions that kind of surface for some of you and for some of you that are not focused about you know are worried about climbing the social ladder like i said this may not apply to you it could be some other part of your life you know maybe like holding on to a relationship with a partner that is very abusive or that you know is potentially cheating on you but because of financial security or because of you know know you not having a strong independent being financially independent strongly a lot of you could be struggling to let go of that relationship due to those kind of fears and and also sacrificing your own happiness in this at the same time so there's going to be a lot of questions this week that surface i feel like a lot of you are going to try to maybe avoid this and try to immerse yourself with Christmas parties or going out with friends, having dinners or having special conversations. And it's going to kind of push this to the back burner and you may deal with it in 2020. But for a lot of you, it's going to be very important to deal with it this week because you don't want to carry that energy into 2020 because that sets the tone for the next year of what is going to, to come, you know, or you carry those problems into 2020 and it just could get worse, you know, so you want to kind of address it now. Um, so that's the horoscope for the signs of Aquarius. Pisces, this week for you, Pisces, it's all about the differences in your life. A lot of you are realizing that you may you may be different from someone else. You may have a different feelings or beliefs than someone else. And it's okay to be the black sheep of your family, to be the person who's not well liked at your job. Uh, it's okay to be different and stand in your individuality. But for those of you that feel trapped in a situation, you need to know that that's just an illusion. The cage that you see around yourself or the way that you feel trapped is just an illusion. And you can actually break past that. But I wouldn't advise any anyone making any drastic changes uh, if you're a Pisces this week, like quitting a job or being ruled by your emotions and making a very hasty decision. The reason for that is because you are one of the signs that tries to work through problems and situations very rationally um, to the point sometimes where if you don't find a, a workaround then you kind of like go and ask a best friend or someone else you know for advice and so I feel like that's what you may be doing this week um, I also feel like when it comes to your love life for those of you that are in a relationship there could be some 
beginning problems or problems beginning like in the infancy stages of some you know greater problems down the road maybe you noticing some trends or noticing some behaviors of your partner that are just not good you know that make you feel uncomfortable or make you question whether or not they are um, loyal to you in some kind of way uh, and maybe you're wanting more of their attention and this could be like a codependent uh, area of yourself that, you know, you are just not feeling very secure. And so maybe you, you know, you do things out of the, you know, out of, you do things that are considered extra, uh, to validate, you know, who you have with you or who you have around kind of like marking your territory. A lot of you could be known for doing that and it may not come be well received by people around your friend, you know, their your friend, um, or so, sorry, your partner's friends or family members, they feel like maybe you're being kind of intrusive in some way, or just being a little extra. And so again, some of, for some of you, you're going to have to change that cycle in yourself. You're going to also have to rely more on your own intuition this week in particular, because I think a lot of you will be seeking answers uh, as we get into the new year. So again, um, if you are throwing shade or being shady to someone, you need to heal that because that's an unhealed portion of yourself. Remember, whatever you throw out into the universe will reverberate and come back to you in some kind of way. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow, but at some point it can come back. So that's the horoscope for Pisces. I want to wish everyone an amazing week. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you are one of my haters and you didn't like the video, you can give it a thumbs down, but I'm still going to be here and still going to be producing content. And if you did, um, if you did want to go ahead and book a reading, go to my website. It's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world and have an amazing week. Bye-bye.